the huge difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, with a mosquito, the surgery may go in. No mosquito. So, I'm going to have to just keep the faith and just hope for the best. You want to tell me the other one? Let me tell you the other one. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, that was my big sister. I'm cleared for surgery finally after a year and a half, almost freaking two years. It's finally time. I'm scared. I'm scared. But I have faith and I'm super confident in God and my hopes will always stay high, even though I am scared AF. <sighs> I cannot believe it. I just pray that everything goes good and I just pray that I feel a lot better. Listen, if I get to feel at least even 50% better than what I am now, oh, that would be a blessing. It's really happening. I don't know. I'm happy, but I'm scared. I mean, who wouldn't be scared? Especially being a mom, I have two lives that needs me. They gave me a paper um, with some instructions. Uh, let's see what those say. Oh, crazy. Pre-op instructions. Um, Fasting 12 hours prior to surgery means nothing by mouth, no water, no food, no candy, no gum, no coffee, no cigarette, nothing. No jewelry, no piercing, no lotion, perfumes, deodorant, powder, hair products, makeup, or aftershave. Shave your private areas if you're doing any of the following procedures. BBL, lipo, tummy talk. No, I'm not doing none of that. Shower with antibacterial soap. I do that every day. Either way, loose fitting clothes. Nothing that goes over your head. Sweat outfit, zip up or button down shirts or jacket. I need to go pick up some of that. It says, bring your garment and compression socks with you the day of surgery. All breast aug augmentation. Please bring your surgical bras that zips up or button up in the front to the day of surgery. No, bumbling shit. <laughs> what? No nail polish or acrylic nail or has to be able to take oxygen levels. Um, I guess I gotta get rid of my index finger nails. Um, let me see. We will not be responsible for any personal belongings. No personal belongings, jewelry, bags, money, wallet, etc. Only cell phone ID and surgery supplies. Bring a companion on your surgery day or else your surgery will be cancelled. Shit. Anyways, that is that. Surgery is tomorrow. I'm scared AF, but we're going to get it done because sis needs to get back to her normal self. Um, by, the time you, by the time you guys see this, I'll be out and healing, but pray for me. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I need to cut my nails, girl, because I need to remove these nails. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today's the day. It's surgery day. Yeah, I'm just wearing this big button up shirt. This is like big button up shirt. Some shorts. <laughs> I'm scared. But excited that this is finally gonna happen after a year and a half. I have some stuff packed here. The kids stuff are packed. They already went to school. Um, I tried to take off my nail last night, but 
it was a fail so i'm going to the girl to my nail tech to have her remove them for me i already took a shower in my antibacterial soap i have nothing on no deodorant lotion nothing at all they said literally nothing absolutely nothing so nothing on me I have my bags back only because <clears throat> because we're gonna stay at an airbnb where i'm gonna get my surgery done is two hours away and i'm gonna have to go back there for post uh the day after which is tomorrow so i do not want to drive two hours we're gonna stay like for three nights kids will be coming after school but anyways y'all we're about to leave the house and i'll keep you guys updated it's a surgery we go <gasps> my heart is in my mouth oh my gosh It's racing. Mm -hmm. How you feel? Mm, to the base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't even think you guys understand how nervous I am right now. Like I am like super nervous. Nervous is an understatement. We just got to the deal shop. There's a Jamaican restaurant right next door. He got him some. Uh, let me see. Some fritters, some sawfish fritters, and some cardinal porridge. And me over here, I starve. Can't eat. Not even water. I can't drink. <laughs> many all off we are 30 minutes early so we're just here sitting in the car waiting anxiety is killing me i'm so nervous are you nervous I feel so much more nervous than when i was gonna get them done i don't know why but i don't know I could tell you why, cause them times gonna feel like it was an in thing, nothing can go wrong. No, it's just something can go wrong. So I'm not friend, you know. What happened? What the truth? That's kind of true, though, but. <laughs> I So he went to go and do that. They'll call him as soon as I'm finished so he can pick me up. He said it should take about like two hours. My surgery is at 1 p.m. and it's currently 12.44. So yes, I'll be going in any time, any second now. The doctor came in. He did his, his little markups. We spoke a little bit. I told him I don't really care about size. As long as my implants are out and my boobs look good, I'll be fine. Yep, so I guess I'll see you guys when, not, not I guess, but I will see you guys in a little bit and I'll update y'all as soon as I regain my consciousness or as soon as the meds wear off. <laughs> It's 
Good morning. I am officially 19 hours post up. Those toxic bags are gone. I feel amazing. You could literally see the changes in my face. Hasn't even been 24 hours yet. Can you believe it? I can't. I took a before picture when I was going in and I took a after picture last night literally a couple couple hours apart and you can see the huge difference crazy my boobs are so small oh my gosh I'm gonna show you compared to what I had before I was a 34 double D in bra I don't know what my bra size is now but just by the looks of it I would say I'm like a B cup I was always a B cup before my thing is I didn't even want to go as big as I did they ended up having to like fill out my boobs more when I did my implants because I didn't do a lift just so it could look good I love the size I love that they're not saggy I have minimal bleeding I'm pretty sure that's fine we're headed to my post-op appointment right now they're gonna let me know how things went the surgeon told me yesterday that if they find any sort of like abnormalities or if there's any infection or anything they will send them to the labs to see you know what's going on with them like I feel fucking great look at my face is that my face is coming back <laughs> bitch I'm back <laughs> He's happy because he, he was he was going through it with me for damn near two years. So I know he's happy to know that I'm actually regaining my true self. Babies are home. They're so excited for the pool. Have we made dinner? It looks so good. You just jumped in, bro. Dad, no, Dad pushed me in. Hey, Did Dad push you in? out of sleep because of the meds Mommy, I, mm, that's not ours I didn't bring it yeah so I've been in and out and oh by yes sir Rasta 
Oh, put it on the table. Daddy. Huh? Daddy. So, one table, what is it? <clears throat> yeah. I'm just gonna try to take a bath or just like tidy up a little bit because I'm not supposed to take a bath. I'm not supposed to get these wet. Because. Wait, stop, let's hand. Just, let's put the camera down. Okay. Gosh, he's so overprotective, y'all. Y'all can't even see me. It's so dark. Just here chilling in the pool and playing games. Hey guys. I've been like in out of sleep. All I've been doing is sleeping, eating, recovering. Mm -hmm. These meds make me feel so drowsy. Mm -hmm. no. But then I get up, Can. walk around for a little bit, sit back in the bed, I've gone right back to sleep. Mm -hmm. I got my friend Renee back for me. Yeah. Come girl, come say hi to my vlog. Say thing. Hello. I got me roses. Susu's here. Hi. Say hi. What's up, girl? Mm -hmm. I should have Zion. Right? You know, she said it. She said, bring on Zion to come. Oh, you should have brought it. Oh, hi. Come here. Hey, hey, my dog. I know. I was going to bring my dog. Weird? Um, not real. Okay. Happy Sunday. I'm finally up. All I've been doing is sleeping and eating. Sleep, wake, eat. Sleep, wake, eat. For the past four days, these meds just have me out of it. My boots do feel a bit better. This little tape is starting to lift up. Just want to go eat some food and go back to sleep. <laughs> so, nothing else to do. I have um, my seventh day appointment on Wednesday, so I'm going to be doing that. But all the days leading up to then, I don't think. I'll be doing much, not really much to do, but. Hey girl, good morning. Your girl about to go to the gym. You know, I just got surgery done, so I won't be doing much in the gym. I'll literally just be walking on a treadmill. My surgery is still pretty fresh. It's not even two weeks yet, so cannot do much. Oh my gosh, y'all. Check my boobs out. Check my boobies out. I love them. I love them. Guess what? Guess what? We finally got it. OMG. I'm so happy about this. Finally got my car mount. Finally, I'm able to like try to set my camera up. Oh. I can't wait to try to set it up to see if it works. I won't even be able to set it up right now because I'm gonna be driving his car, he's parked behind me, and I do not feel like moving his car to take my car. <laughs> so I won't be able to like do it right now, but I'm pretty sure later when I'm about to go on the road because I gotta go to Target. I gotta go to Target because I need some. Yo, I've got the new Swiffer. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys when I bought it, but <sighs> I'm obsessed. I'm like so obsessed. It's like the perfect mop, okay? It cleans the house so good. Like, I'm not even kidding. Kid you not. It's just the perfect mop. You need to go get you one. The thing is, it came with like two of the pads and I need more. I didn't see any at all when I was trying to like, when I was buying it, I was trying to find extras and I couldn't find any. So I need to go to Target to see if I could find it. My hair looks a hot mess. <laughs> Look at my hair. I need to like wash my hair. It's getting poofy. I need to like wash it just so it could like have some more movement. It's just so dead right now. Good morning guys. 
Let me turn this air down because it is blowing outside. The sun is so hot. So I'm about to go to work and I do not know how to set this thing up. I don't know. I cannot get it to stick. Like I have no clue what to do with it. I don't know. I guess I just won't be a car vlogger because I just do not know what to do. So until I figure it out, I don't know girl because if I put my camera up there, I know for a fact it's going to slide and pay too much money for this shit for it to break. Ooh, hell no. Not right now. And it's a brand new camera too. It's so freaking hot. Oh my gosh. Y'all going to have to hear some hair, some air because it's too hot. Look at my face. My face is flushed because of how hot it is i'm actually gonna stop by home goods before I, I go into the shop because girl there was a chair that they had there yesterday and i really love the chair it's a black and white chair it has like the fluffy or wool looking thing that's like trending right now and the feet are like black metal girl i'm like obsessed with black metal if, if you don't know already you know now i'm obsessed i'm gonna go check if they still have that chair i pray to god they still do hey girl i just left work and look what we got i went to home goods this morning and i got these pieces i got the most beautiful painting i've ever seen one of the most beautiful painting ever y'all can't even see it but it's so freaking gorgeous girl like it's amazing and i got the chair look at it Come see. Hi guys. It broke. Mm -hmm. Say hello. I want to hold it. To make it fall in. Okay. Hey guys. See your body. We're going to the mall today. But Jaja was. Jaja said he wanted to go to the mall when it was night time. But mommy said no, 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 no. Now we're going to go beside that baby. Move down, down, and go to the bed. Hey, guys. Hi, bye. Bye, bye, guys. See you later. We're going now. I'm in the front. She's in the front. She's been in the front. No. Yes. You and daddy going in the back. Where's your dad? No, no. No. Oh. Here, Jaja. You can sit right here. Both of you in the front? Mm. Mommy, I gave him space. Mm. Mommy, me and you too today. Mm. Because me and you are in the front. Hey guys, so we are Hey guys, we are the mom. Upstairs. Come to me. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of what? Oh, hold on. We're at the mall, guys. We're gonna pick up a few stuff for Jamaica. Josh is mad, but I'm happy, but Josh is mad and he's making Good morning. Oh my gosh, I look so freaking crazy. Guys, today I have a lot going on. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I have a lot going on today. So, it's almost 8 a.m. I have my lash appointment at 8 a.m. I'm going to Jamaica today. Can you believe it? Look at my face. Like, I have not slept. Y'all, look at my, I look crazy. <laughs> my hair got wet last night. Yeah, it's crazy. I need to press it. It looks so crazy right now, but just give me about an hour or two. We about to look nice again. But yeah, I'm on my way to my lash appointment. I'm going to Jamaica so last minute. This trip is so freaking last minute, guys. I look so crazy. This trip is so last minute, and I have to like get all of these stuff done. I'm leaving today. I leave in like probably like what time was it? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I leave in like five hours, and I need to get all of this done. So I can look a little bit 
more put together for this trip. I will only be going for four days, so it's not like I'm going for pretty long. Um, it's a very spontaneous trip. Omar and Zuri, they already went. They, they're supposed to be in Jamaica right now. They left this morning. That's the reason why I haven't slept, because I've been up. I got off work like around 7, 8, around 7, 8 p.m. And then I got home, did my duties, and then we um, we went to buy some stuff for Zuri and Jaja. Oh my god, my eyes itching me. What my eye itching me? Um, we got some stuff for the kids, and then we came home and we packed, and I got a few hours sleep, probably like about two hours sleep. I had to wake up because then it was time for them to get ready for the airport. I had to wake up, get Zuri ready for the airport. Judge, I still sleeping right now. I grudge him. <laughs> uh, and then after I woke up, it's like I couldn't even go back to sleep. So I've been up. That's why my face looks so puffy, and I just look like, oh my gosh, girl, you need to sleep. I wanted to do my nails, but I don't think they look that bad. And I'm only going for four days. Plus, I wanted to run to the to Sephora to get me some skincare, some travel size skincare products. So I didn't want to like go do my nails and then I wouldn't be able to do that. Plus I need to like fix my hair. So I'm trying to keep calm. We're gonna get this done. We're in proper timing. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it to the airport on time. Okay? So I guess I'll see you guys when we get to Jamaica or in the airport or wherever. So we're at the airport. Jaja say hey. Hello. And our flight got delayed. And Jaja and Daddy here is in Jamaica. Huh? Zuri. You said Jaja. No, I said Zuri. Nuh uh. That's -uh. <laughs> what Zuri. You said Jaja. Well, Zuri and Omi is in Jamaica. We're about to go now. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been to Jamaica in a minute. And this little kid over here, he doing the most. I don't know what he doing but i'm excited i got my lashes done as you guys saw earlier i was like almost late for the airport luckily the flight got delayed because sis would be late running through the airport scrambling through the crowd trying to pull up to the gate like don't close the door don't close the door <laughs> okay the airport is super crowded there's like a bunch of people here literally people everywhere Okay, mom, that's not cool. What's not cool? not cool? Why? Why is it not cool? I'm not sure if people don't want to be showed or not. I'm not sure if we're a public place. If they don't want to be seen, they don't come that? outside. What's that? What's that? Exactly. You hear this kid? Y'all hear this kid? Because I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we just got on the plane and. I am so tired. I just want to sleep so bad. Cabin crew boarding complete. Before boarding we can complete. close the main cabin door, ladies and gentlemen, must ensure that every customer's seatbelt is securely fastened. At the end of your seatbelt, hold a button on your armrest. Gently pull this non-stop jet service to Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. I'm tired. I don't know about him. He slept all morning, so he's still very active. I'm super tired. I so. woke up at one. Yeah, he slept all day. I'm exhausted. I'm definitely going to take a nap on this flight. So I'll talk to you guys when we get to Jamaica. I really hope when we get there, the process isn't long in immigration. And we get to get out real quick because, well, I'm hungry. I asked them to bring us some KFC, so hopefully they do have it when they pick us up. So I can eat that, you know. When you wake up and eat some good food, feel so good, you know, rejuvenated. So that's what I want. And yeah, see you guys when we get to Jamaica. We're in Jamaica. I hit up you guys when we get to the house because right now I'm like so exhausted. I just want to go sleep. She's over here trying on my heels and stuff. Zurich, mind you, break your foot. 
Girl, mind you break your foot, okay? Do not break a leg. <laughs> Zuri, your foot can't even fit. <laughs> Zuri, <laughs> careful. Girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have, the, you have the one on the wrong foot. <laughs> Good morning guys. So we are in Jamaica. I'm just here going through all this stuff because we haven't been here for months y'all. Months on top of months. So I'm just here going through everything. <laughs> trying to like throw out everything that we don't need and give the place like a little deep clean type of thing. Yeah so we're just here cleaning up out with the old in with the new. Hello my lovelies. I just got up. I was sleeping all day. I didn't even get to show you guys what the place looked like after we finished cleaning but this is what it looks like. I was sleeping so the bed is messy but the room is clean and like new. All clean like new. I organized everything underneath the cabinet. The, all these stuff I usually just leave here. These are all my skincare. I do not leave these. These go wherever I go. My face matters a lot to me so everything's clean nice and clean closet is clean organized like all these stuff are usually just like left here we never i don't know we never bring these with us these are always in jamaica still have stuff in my luggage we're only here for four days so no need to unpack i'm about to go to the shop I'm gonna install clients here extension. The kids went to Mandeville to visit their grandmother. So I'm actually here all alone because their dad took them. I was supposed to go, but being that I have this installation to do, I had to wait. It feels really good to be in Jamaica right now. I actually miss Jamaica so much. Um, the air just felt feels so different and just so like ugh. I'm at home, type of vibe. Since we got here, all I've been doing is eating and sleeping. I had KFC, I had a shrimp pizza, and a shrimp salad. I am stuffed. My belly is full. Oh my gosh. Food was amazing. Food in Jamaica is just the best, okay? Or food be oh, so fresh, so nice, just amazing. There goes my pizza box over there. I was watching Sisters, y'all. Sisters! I don't know if y'all be watching that, but this show is the bomb. Tyler, Tyler Perry went ham on this shit, okay? He ate with this, okay? Because this show, I, I'm just loving it. it. It just gets better. It keeps getting better. I'm absolutely in love. I'm at season four. I think there's about like six or seven seasons, but I'm at season four. And I hope they come out with like another one before I, I end because I'm telling you, boy. I'm obsessed. This trip was rather spontaneous for me, so I won't be doing too much while I'm here. I may go out to eat with some of my friends, but other than that, it's just like chill vibe. Yesterday, I was scrambling all over the place trying to get myself together. My lashes have me feeling like a bad biatch. <laughs> Girl, let me put you on to something. This? Listen to me, okay? You need to get this. If you have never seen this, or heard about it you need to run not walk run and go get yourself one of this it's so good i'm telling you i have hairs growing everywhere everywhere including on my head i hate the fact that it's growing on my you know what so much but the fact that it's growing on my head too i don't mind i'll keep shaving <laughs> it says physician formulated to multi-target key root causes to that compromises hair health clinically shown to increase hair growth and improve hair quality in women 100 drug free with natural stress adaptogens and growth powering patented synergen complex listen girl drug free natural made for women for hair growth listen you gotta get this i've been using this for like two months now and monogalai i will not lie to you i've seen immense hair growth 
Good morning, guys. So I'm about to go to Saint Team. I'm excited because I haven't been there in a very long time. They're like talking in the background. Let me close the door. I haven't spoken to you guys since Saturday. We went to chilling on the farm. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed myself. It was a vibe. And then you know I came home, sleep. Now I'm up and about to go to Saint Elizabeth. I'm gonna take you guys on the journey to country. And yeah, see y'all when we get there. We're currently in Clarendon. We stopped at this jerk center, Mari's Fish and Jerk Hut, and got some jerk chicken and some fried dumpling. I'm excited for this food right now. Mm. I said to me, whenever you're in Jamaica, make sure you stop here because this is like some of the best jerk chicken ever and jerk sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, so we're in Saint Team. This is where I grew up. This is my big cousin, even though she probably don't want to go for the camera because Hi. <laughs> <In a dolly> down. <laughs> <laughs> but we are picking mangoes. What a mango you call it? Hayden. Huh? Hayden. Hayden. Yeah. You wanna pick the um green skin? Good morning. Back at the airport. <coughs> About to leave Jamaica. Oh my gosh, I wish I was gonna stay for another couple days, but I can't. I gotta go back to work. So here I am waiting to board my flight. Everyone else is still in Jamaica. Can you believe it? Jaja ended up staying. He was supposed to come back with me, but yesterday when we went to pick him up, he was so heartbroken, super devastated. He did not want to go. Jaja was supposed to come back home because he had football practice, but he didn't run all, all his cousins for the weekend. He just did not want to go. And I felt so bad for him. His dad felt so bad. He was crying. He just didn't want to go. So we just decided to let him stay for the rest of the week. And then um, his dad stayed with him so he would be able to bring him home on Friday. So I'm going back home alone all by myself. I'll be getting a lot of me time. I really wanted to stay too, but there was no way for me to stay because one of my clients have a wedding, so there's no way I could like reschedule her. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go home. I cannot disappoint. I'm going straight to work, by the way, straight to the shop. Yeah, I'll see y'all when I get back to Miami. I want to cry. I want to cry. I should be in Jamaica right now. Oh my gosh. So we are back home, heading to the shop. I'm sad. Uh, listen, I'll be back in Jamaica in no time because this trip was just so short and I feel like I didn't really do much. Like all I did was eat and sleep and uh, went out like two times and that was it. <laughs> so I'm happy to be back home safe and sound. Can't wait to like go back to Jamaica. My brother picked me up from airport. He better take me to the shop. And that concludes this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, we need to put our seatbelts on. We're so a fucking unruly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're nice. Right? <laughs> If you're not, make sure you go subscribe. Make sure you go subscribe. Miss Sad Talk Next. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you know what you're um, Make sure you guys subscribe because your girl is vlogging and contents are dropping, so you don't want to miss it. And I'll be back in. In Jamaica soon and trust me when I go back to Jamaica it not gonna harm my like I'll be doing shit I won't be locked up in that damn apartment room sleeping every day I'll be outside I promise you that